Pro Mini V3, well, V3.0. Uh, this is the new one. And we're gonna do an unboxing real quick. Show you guys what you get with it. Let's open this up. So it comes in this really nice case. And then inside the case, you get a bunch of your adapters for different vehicles like Mercedes-Benz, BMW, Toyota, Honda, the GM. And then you get you get a bunch of cables in here for adapting to the cars. And you get an extension cable. At least I think, yeah, this is an extension cable right here. So you get a nice extension cable so that you can like connect this to the car and then leave your dongle down below or whatever you have to do. So that's awesome. And then you get a wall charger, which I don't think you got a wall charger in the other ones. Let's look at this. Is this going to work? Yeah, so you change the end. Yes, to whatever you want. Which doesn't really help me because I need a US plug and it doesn't look like this has a US plug. Which is fine, I can deal with that. And then in here, you get some extra fuses. You get you get a cigarette lighter or power adapter. Oh, here you go. Here's a US plug. Look at that. The two amp charger too. And you get adapter so you can just connect it right to a battery. You don't have to you don't have to use just a cigarette lighter, which is awesome. So now we're gonna go into turning this on. We should be able to screen record this once this is on and we'll do like a setup video off of it. But this uses USB I think this uses USB type C. Yeah, it's a type C connection. And then your dongle snaps right here in the back, which is awesome. So it's slightly bigger than a Diagon, but it's more than the full-size tablet. I wanted it because it holds the dongle in place. So once this turns on and boots up, we'll go into screen recording. There we go. Okay guys, so when you turn it on, you get to this screen. So now we're going to do a software update. So we're going to go to home. We're going to see if there's any before we do anything else. Actually, no, it wasn't here. It was under here and then system updates. And I think it said that there was a software update when I turned it on. So there we go. We're going to download it. There we go, it's going pretty quick. Hopefully the screen recording saves.
So guys, I'm just going to fast forward until this is over. Okay, so we're on the latest version now. Now we're going to go underneath the, the launch app. And we're going to probably have to log in. So I'm going to log in quick. And then we'll go from there. Okay, so I'm setting up screen recording. This is what we have right now as updates. So there's a bunch when I logged in. So we're going to press update all. And we're just going to wait. It's going to take a while. Okay. You'll hear your module beep when it connects. And now we're going to be interrupted, guys. What did you want me to look at? Yeah, 1674. I now. know, and then it says 400 after that. Sorry about that. Got interrupted. Here we go. So we'll go to health report. And now it'll scan all the modules. And you might see some lights pop up on the dash. Like different modules as it's scanning because it's going to be communicating with them and sometimes they'll like disconnect from the network or do random stuff but i'm not going to show you how to do everything with this tool i'm just going to go in we'll show that you can actually go into a module then and that's it there's other videos on how to use the tool See, we'll probably pause this because European cars take forever. You can be here for like 30 minutes scanning every module. If 
it lets me pause it. We may have to stay with scanning every module now. So we'll go, I do a health report, but it's going to scan every module and take forever. So we're going to go under system selection and in control module, and we'll just make sure that it reads. It reads codes. So here we go. We got the VIN, the software version. Let's see, read DTCs. And this has a lot of codes. So there you go. Hopefully you guys like it. See you later.